Oh my god, cyber truck, cyber truck, cyber truck. I'm sure you guys are aware of the cyber truck. You're probably tired of hearing about it, but I haven't spoken about it, so I'm gonna speak about it right now. Tesla announced the cyber truck a couple of the, a few days ago and it essentially broke the internet. Um I think what we've seen with Tesla, what we've seen with Elon Musk specifically, is that we've seen an ability. I think every every sort of release he seems to get better and better at kind of being able to kind of break the internet. And I think a lot of it has to do with, which no one's really mentioned. I think a lot of it has to do with him being an actual operator. Because he actually, because he's a founder, visionary, engineer, operator, designer sort of dude, he's actually in touch with people. He's on social media a lot, especially Twitter. He loves it. He loves the memes. I think, um, I think that kind of approach to things has kind of helped the way they kind of roll out things, the theatrics of everything. I think it honestly has rolled out because if you saw the actual video of the Cybertruck being presented, they kind of rolled up on stage and they had this laser show. They had all these old school sci-fi movie props on the outside, um, outside the actual arena um, of old vehicles from, from, you know, movies that gone by, such as Back to the Future, um, such as a few others. I forgot what the other one was called that they had. Oh, I forgot the name. But yeah, they had quite a few props outside. Essentially, loads of kind of um, futuristic car designs, which maybe sort of should have given us a bit more of a hint as to what to expect. But when this actual truck rolled out, I think it actually took, it took everyone by surprise. I know it took me by surprise. And my initial reaction when I saw it was that I fucking hated it, right? I thought this was a... F uh, I thought at first it was kind of... It's going to be a shell thing that he kind of had and then suddenly the car sort of transformed and underneath it was the actual real car and at the top, top of it was just like a, you know, a sort of like uh, an LOL, sort of like a poke at the internet culture, especially meme culture, especially maybe something like um those games people are playing now online. What's the one with the polygons and shit? I thought it was similar to that. But then the more I looked at it, the more he was talking about the car and the more you just saw it behind him, especially post the glass break the more i started to like the vehicle and again i think as exercise and branding i think tesla has done a really good job in terms of number one creating a, a very i think if, if 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 we know anything about the ability to market something the ability to kind of communicate with customers if the one thing that we know for certain is that what you have to do is create something very divisive you have to recreate something that people either love or hate one thing that i think most celebrities are aware of especially um, celebrities that appear, especially people that are on the come up and maybe appear on, you know, reality TV programs, you cannot leave your viewers feeling lukewarm about you. People have to feel either very, have very strong feelings for you or against you. But if they're lukewarm, you're dead in the water. You have to be able to elicit some kind of emotion, some kind of reaction. And I think that's what Tesla have done with the Cybertruck. They've created something that is going to make you either bath when you see it rolling down the street or you're going to turn around in awe and keep following it as it kind of, you know, disappears over the sunrise. Um, it's a fucking amazing vehicle to look at, I think, personally. And I think especially in the, in the avenue of it being a pickup truck, it's obviously something completely different to anything we've seen. And also, it might be a clear indication of where they see themselves going in the future. Because if this is an indication that, okay, now Tesla's maybe, or maybe Elon Musk has basically proved with the Tesla motors that he can design a car that's as beautiful or that is comparably as beautiful as any gas car out there there might be a, um there might be a feeling within tesla now that they need to push the envelope and really kind of separate themselves from the pack because i think if there's one thing i hated about the um automobile industry even though i don't have a car myself one of the annoying things about it especially being a, a product design graduate um especially having been somebody that was obsessed with sketching and illustrating cars and doing the nice sleek kind of lines and you know understanding proportions and all this sort of amazing things one thing that you discover when you're designing when you're kind of getting into product design you find out all these amazing pro designers out there who are essentially been employed just to create these fantasy these these um fantasy uh vehicles concept cars that never see the light of day whether it's, you know, because of production, whether it's because of production and manufacturing issues, um, rules and very good regulations, or whether it may be or because the company thinks the customer's not ready for them yet. It's always annoying when, you know, those big auto trade shows come around, you see this crazy contraption of a car that looks like something you might see out of Batman. And then by the time it comes, you know, by the time it's a, a, a ready for the road or ready for manufacture, they've essentially stripped all the goodness and all the fucking craziness out of it and left you with something that, you know, is a bit of a shell of what you saw previously. At the car exhibition and what i like about the cyber truck is that this essentially looks like a concept car but it's going to be available it's good you're going to see this car in two years time driving down the street near you 
Now, there might be some tweaks and changes to it. There might be some side mirrors, some other safety features that we haven't seen beforehand. But effectively, the overall shape of it, the overall aesthetic of it is what we're going to see down, down the career and down the street sometime very soon. And I think that is something that's very, very admirable. And I also think in general, it's a big risk, right? Because Tesla, Tesla motor cars or Tesla car fans have been used to seeing cars of a particular shape, a particular sort of design codes and this completely breaks the mold but i think again in the pickup industry if you're gonna if you're gonna differentiate yourself if you're gonna maybe introduce different customers to the pickup you know car range maybe this is the way to do it um i'm not sure if your everyday person that is a workman or work woman who use the pickup truck day in day out would want to buy something like a cyber truck it might be a car that's specifically aimed at a whole new market of people who want you know something a bit more different just something a novelty car in a collection um they might want they might not want an suv they might want something more akin to this um i would be very very much game for it but i'm a, I'm a fan of it i love the sharp lines i love that there's not a, literally there's no curve on the car whatsoever um i love the stainless steel look of it i'm sure they're going to be other colors of no the elon Musk said specifically in the presentation there's no other colors available just the bare metal but they're going to obviously third party uh uh, retailers are going to be offering you know wraps and all that sort of stuff for the car itself but again exoskeleton shell so they're going to be able to manufacture these quite quickly which is quite cool to see and just generally just as that looks a uh, careering around a track that's just an insane car to look at isn't it it's such a beast i think people that were inside of it said that it would look similar to like a hammer in terms of its size which is quite cool right um in terms of its overall size and capacity i love the fact that they brought the little atv on board as well to kind of ride up in the back i actually quite like the back of it um the actual slide you know the kind of sort of grill that kind of covers it i actually like that kind of being retracted i think it looks more interesting um i like the fact that you can kind of take out the bottom like that you know the kind of pickup bit at the back i actually like it when the finger's down i think it looks pretty cool um and the lights too still work once you put the flap down that's pretty amazing so that means the lights are not connected all the way around it which is flipping amazing it's got a ramp on the back of it too obviously you can attach things and tow it along it's just an amazing an amazing looking vehicle that's the, and the atv we didn't hear that much about it but i'm pretty interested to see what happens with that whether or not we're going to see tesla introduce um a, a motorcycle maybe further down the line maybe an electric bicycle we haven't seen from them coming up very very soon that that would absolutely kill it if the tesla was able to make an electric bike right and price it i don't know 200 dollars, 300 dollars, it would sell out it would be the most popular bike would see out without a shadow of a doubt they could easily make an entry entry level electric bike or an e-scooter and it would be the pop, most popular thing out definitely 100 percent. i'm pretty sure i'm surprised that we haven't seen that from them actually maybe again it's, it's about maybe the reason why they haven't done that is because they want to achieve you know it's better to maybe sell things that are more expensive, sell less of them, make more money, and then invest that money back into, you know, lower price, lower ticketed items and stuff. But that would be really cool to see. I would love to see that coming up very, very soon. And again, it's available on pre-sale now. So on pre-order, you can pre-order one for as little as $100, which means tons of people have went out and kind of pre-ordered it. I think there's been like 200,000 plus uh, pre-orders now and probably rising so definitely expect to see more of that coming up very very soon from tesla and just again an amazing vehicle man an amazing presentation and just a, a really cool way to, shoot, to kind of essentially blow the entire pickup industry up into pieces and actually bring attention to this idea like i mentioned before that you know car design has been stagnant for so long you know a lot of it is annoying especially seeing that you know if we watch some of those sci-fi movies or even stuff like the jetsons and stuff you know we had very uh heady views of what the future would look like and essentially we've still got the same form factor we've still got the same kind of mechanics running the same kind of uh cars or automobiles out down the road so just have tesla put out something that looks like this that's that's going to be road legal is just super 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 inspiring and if anything it should be a, a another kind of sign or another kind of um indication to other companies out there that you need to try more man you need to kind of go for it and not be afraid to kind of make a difference make a bit of a splash and kind of challenge your customer we've had enough of the kind of you know basic samey 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 thing we want something a bit different if there's one slight i have against a cyber truck i wish they would have gone to a really prominent graphic designer also a graffiti artist to make the actual font of the cyber truck i think the font looks terrible i think i could have done something like that or better in two seconds it would have been nice if they went to an actual you know pretty famous um graffiti uh, writer of some regard who had a really good throw up 
and who could kind of do a really good one um, that would look pretty amazing but you know those are like tiny things that they could probably correct later on down the line it's due to be on the road i think 2021 right instead of 2022 so maybe two years down the line but this is probably the most anticipated I, uh, car i've seen in a while i've seen maybe i don't know six or seven videos from various youtubers um basically detailing their experience with the car which is again another master stroke from tesla the ability to kind of invite every youtuber under the sun who has maybe 100 subscribers plus to the event um they came down and they absolutely you know they 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 covered the car from top to bottom everyone had a different perspective behind it everyone different impression loads of uh post um tesla cybertruck event videos loads of videos during loads of pre, uh loads of pre during post loads of roundup stuff loads of views of questions they've generated tesla been able to generate so much content from this one event it's just insane to see really um which is another great um thing that i'm probably going to take as a learning from my marketing stuff that i do whenever I'm, I'm at work and stuff just an amazing car an amazing approach to things and just cool nonetheless um, i can't wait to see it on the road and again something to look forward to for my own self actually in terms of a car that i would like to get in the future i've always been a big fan of teslas i've always wanted to get a tesla myself and imagine your first car being a cyber truck like how cool that would be rocking up to school in a in a cyber truck and picking up your friends that would be so amazing isn't it <laughs> but yeah re recommend you check it out loads of cool videos out there of it um careering down the street it's really funny seeing the video of it um or interesting of the video seeing of it kind of careering down the street from the side where people are not in it you just hear the sound of it the electric sound like how fast it goes like the acceleration just insane i think it's like 2.9 seconds in 0 to 16 2.9 seconds or something stupid like that really amazing car really check it out super 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 cool